Ireland, is an island in the North Atlantic Ocean, in northwestern Europe. It is separated from Great Britain to its east by the North Channel, the Irish Sea, and St. George's Channel. Ireland is the second largest island of the British Isles, the third largest in Europe, and the 20th largest in the world. Geopolitically, Ireland is divided between the Republic of Ireland, officially named Ireland, an independent state covering five-sixths of the island, and Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. As of 2022, the population of the entire island is just over 7 million, with 5.1 million living in the Republic of Ireland and 1.9 million in Northern Ireland, ranking it the second most populous island in Europe after Great Britain. The two official languages of the Republic of Ireland are Irish and English. Each language has produced noteworthy literature. Irish, though now only the language of a minority, was the vernacular of the Irish people for thousands of years and was possibly introduced during the Iron Age. It began to be written down after Christianization in the 5th century and spread to Scotland and the Isle of Man, where it evolved into the Scottish Gaelic and Manx languages respectively. Ireland's culture comprises elements of the culture of ancient peoples, later immigrant and broadcast cultural influences, chiefly Gaelic culture, Anglicization, Americanization and aspects of broader European culture. In broad terms, Ireland is regarded as one of the Celtic nations of Europe, alongside Scotland, Wales, Cornwall, Isle of Man and Brittany. This combination of cultural influences is visible in the intricate designs termed Irish interlace or Celtic knotwork. These can be seen in the ornamentation of medieval religious and secular works. The style is still popular today in jewelry and graphic art, 168, as is the distinctive style of traditional Irish music and dance, and has become indicative of modern, Celtic, culture in general. Ireland has made a substantial contribution to world literature in all its branches, both in Irish and English. Poetry in Irish is among the oldest vernacular poetry in Europe, with the earliest examples dating from the 6th century. Citation needed. Irish remained the dominant literary language down to the 19th century, despite the spread of English from the 17th century on. Prominent names from the medieval period and later include Gofri Fionn O'Dalla, 14th century, Davy O'Bruadair, 17th century, and Algano Rathail, 18th century. Iblin du Ni Chonail, c. 1743 circa, 1800, was an outstanding poet in the oral tradition. The latter part of the 19th century saw a rapid replacement of Irish by English. Citation needed. By 1900, however, cultural nationalists had begun the Gaelic revival, which saw the beginnings of modern literature in Irish. This was to produce a number of notable writers, including Mertan O'Cadian, Mer Mhac and Tsaoi and others. Irish language publishers such as Coicam and Clo Eyre Chinacht continue to produce scores of titles every year. The earliest known Irish graphic art and sculpture are Neolithic carvings found at sites such as Newgrange and is traced through Bronze Age artifacts and the religious carvings and illuminated manuscripts of the medieval period. During the course of the 19th and 20th centuries, a strong tradition of painting emerged, including such figures as John Butler Yeats, William Orpin, Jack Yeats and Louis La Broquie. Contemporary Irish visual artists of note include Sean Scully, Kevin Abosh, and Alice Marr. Food and cuisine in Ireland take their influence from the crops grown and animals farmed in the island's temperate climate and from the social and political circumstances of Irish history. For example, whilst from the Middle Ages until the arrival of the potato in the 16th century the dominant feature of the Irish economy was the herding of cattle, the number of cattle a person owned was equated to their social standing. 210. Thus herders would avoid slaughtering a milk-producing cow. Thank you for staying with us for too long. See you next time with some interesting travel stories.